and we introduce Briggs again. So you might want to pull up the chair. Come here, Briggs. Come here. This is Briggs. This is my buddy. Right? Hey, you're a good boy. So, Briggs is my pup. He comes to the job with me sometimes. Sometimes he hangs out here at the office. He, uh, well, he hasn't really decided if he's my pup. He's kind of got a crush on Sandy. He follows her around a lot, too. But he works for mostly food, so it makes my life easier. But um, he's, he's a pool dog, which is great and not, because when I bring him to the job, if I don't say anything, he's jumping in your pool. But if I do, he's usually pretty good about staying out of it. But that's one of the reasons why he doesn't come to the job all the time, is if I go to clean a, job, or clean a pool and he decides to jump in, he's a golden retriever, they shed a lot, which would just make more work, so, but, um, especially when I'm doing service by myself, um, you know, there's room for him in the van, so he comes with me, uh, other, other than that, he hangs out at the office, but, you know, life's better with a dog. How is life better with a dog? Um, because any time I am, um, say, how do I put this? So if I yell at my dog, he doesn't yell back. So, you know, that makes it easier. Now, in reality, it's just having a dog around is nice because um, it's, it's kind of like ambient noise. And what I mean by that is I like interactions and I like, say, talking to people and whatnot, but sometimes I don't want to. I want to be a part of the background or I don't want to be a main focus. And having a dog is kind of that where as much as there's interaction between the two of you, it's not the same as a human interaction, and I enjoy it. Hey, Elena. I don't really have a good answer as to why life's better with a dog. I just kind of feel like it is.